announcements. Uh, of course, Android N, that's why we do this show, is Android. And uh, as far as the announcements there, uh, basically still looking at a late summer release. A lot of the things that we heard about uh, uh, N from the keynote, we kind of already knew a good amount of that. But a few kind of new details, a clear all button in multitasking for getting rid of everything. Multitasking. Please, whoever. <laughs> I'm so I know, happy for nice that. I feel, I feel like the, the one thing we heard, and that, what, that was one specific one that I remember, but they kept on mentioning a lot of it. We've heard from developers using it we've heard from our users yeah. a lot of it seemed like we and we talked to who was it that was uh, a couple months ago that was reacting a lot to the i forget who it was but this idea of we're doing we're giving you what you want versus mm -hmm. what we think you want mm -hmm. which i thought was interesting so. mm -hmm. yeah. uh quick switching between two apps by double tapping multitasking button that's kind of nice again productivity down that line of thought uh, split screen multi-window support we already knew quick reply from the notification itself which I have. And you can do that with Hangouts already, and just, yeah, just having that is awesome. To it's have a, it come yeah, it's to faster other. now because it's not it's not an overlay that appears after mm. you select to do it. It actually appears inside the notification. Yeah. So what's well, a bit presumptuous? Um, <laughs> So what here. if I don't want to respond to that person? <laughs> you know, so you would you would get that information down at the bottom. What I don't have a, a thing to to sh demonstrate it, but you could hit reply and literally that notification would Come. just kind of appear. Um, I'm gonna text you. No, it's okay. It's okay. You get a lot of notifications, my friend. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Unicode 9 emoji. We knew about that. Daydream VR, which we're going to talk about in a second. They say a total of 250 features and enhancements. Um, few things like, I guess Google has plans to totally uh, kind of alter it, the way it handles background processes. So in the, in the effort to improve battery life on, on devices. And, you know, they, they added this intermediary step with Android N for Doze. Well, eventually going forward at some point, they're going to kill all unbound background services so apps can no longer go rogue, period, basically. Wow. Um, so somewhere down the line and probably, you know, relatively soon, we're going to see some of those changes and that's really going to improve things. And then uh, I think a big one is system updates which essentially is going to be very similar to how Chrome OS does its updates where it downloads the stuff in the background, it prepares it on a separate partition, and then the next time you reboot, the partitions are just basically swapped. So there's no, and you don't have to wait for it to, you know, uh, optimize your apps, all those 200 and some odd apps, you know, at, at startup and wait that, 45 minutes to get in your phone. It's basically going to be instantaneous. That's the praise hallelujah moment for me. That's when a pretty good one. I mean, I think everybody, I think everyone reacted that way too as well too. Like yeah. that, that, you know, because I just installed um, the preview on my tablet. Mm -hmm. And uh, which I brought back to life, by the way. It's just, uh, it was nice. With that method, or yeah, with that yeah, method, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, uh, to get so the background, my Nexus Nine, the the ODA, OTA update for Marshmallow <sighs> bricked my device. Um, Same thing happened so, to me, man. Yeah, yep. so then I had to, I had to basically, I, I. I just installed the and I left it at N. I didn't go back to Marshmallow. Good because yeah. it's on. Why a, not? They say it's a, yeah. a stable beta, uh, exactly. the first kind of beta quality release of N right now. That's why I felt comfortable putting it on my six P, which yeah, is my. Yeah, that, that was my phone, thought too. So. But um, but as even in doing that, because I did it right before I did it before I O, so mm -hmm. I got the the pre, the version previous, and it's the optimizing apps, and it's just like oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So it's <laughs> great to see that go go away. So. I was totally like, but I like to see what it's doing in the oh, background. No, not but when it, it takes 45 minutes <laughs> to yeah, let me use my like, phone. No, yeah, I updated my phone a couple of weeks ago, and that I couldn't use my phone for 45 minutes. Like 45 minutes is an eternity during a weekday. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah so. totally. Yeah, I actually updated my 6P on site at I/O, so and I, I was to the to the end. You, you did as well. Yeah, I, it, it failed the first time. It gave me the broken Android logo with the exclamation point, That's and he's brave. You know, dead on the ground with the hatch open. I was like, wow, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. But then it recovered. It it, it just, it backed itself off. It, it reinstalled or it, it uh, reverted to Marshmallow. And then I tried it again and then it worked fine. And I agree with you, Jason. This is, ow, sorry. That was, this was the first time I, uh, I, I've i run a beta th that I've, I've felt comfortable just doing on site because I had another phone and it's it's run really well. And it's been fun to play with the, all the new features. I mean, Google really made, has made this whole opting into the dev preview thing so incredibly easy. You go to a page yeah. and you opt in for this device and then literally like within 30 seconds, you get this notification that says system update. Would you like to install it? And you do. And it reboots. And there it is. You're on the end. So, so much better. So painless. Um,
one thing that's important to point out about the um, what we're talking about here, this like instant update and everything, is that it's actually not going to apply to any current devices. <laughs> so it's applying to devices moving forward because they actually have to prepare the drive with an extra partition in a way, in a different way. And in order to do that with devices that you already have, I think you run the, I mean, you, oh, you got to wipe, you yeah, gotta wipe yeah, it. Yeah. And I think that kind of challenge for the majority of people is probably too much. You know, to expect anyone to to yeah. put up with, maybe there's some risk in that as well for Google. So, new, so pretty much guaranteed that the new Nexus devices, whenever they are announced, will have this feature, and that's when you'll notice the change. You won't notice it just by flashing the, end the Nexus, preview. the Nexus Seven, or, yeah. or whatever it is, Nexus the Nexus Ten Twenty Nexus, Nexus, Twenty Seventeen, Nexus Six P Two. Uh, whatever it ends up being. Uh, but the big thing about Android N that I know everybody was waiting on the edge of their seats for was what uh, what uh, candy was, or what dessert was it going to get named? Oh, and right. I was shocked to find out that Google has no idea, so much so that they're asking us to do it for them. And so they announced that uh, uh, they were opening up the naming of Android N uh, to the public where uh, there's a, uh, if you go to android.com slash version slash name dash N. Or android.com um, slash N works or, also. Does that work yeah. too? Android.com slash N. Yeah, there it is. You can, uh, and you can submit your name for what you think it should be, um, uh, which I thought was funny, but also like, oh, wow, they really backed themselves into a corner on this one, didn't they? I know, right? <laughs> Dang, um, we didn't think about N. Just, like, just an like, FYI, this is yeah. solely intended to be for entertainment purposes yeah. only. It says <laughs> at the top of the name Android N. Which is just so upsetting, right? He, any, but that's legal, yeah. though. That's legal. Do they yeah. have to say that legally? Yeah. I mean, the names you submit will not be judged, and there will be no prizes or compensation awarded to any participant. <laughs> I'm thinking no. they won't be judged, but they might be picked from. You think so? You yeah. think like maybe I mean, unofficially? I mean, if somebody comes up with a really great they're name. They're going to be like, yep. but that's. But they, I think they probably no already prize. know. I'm guessing they probably already know. There's a, there's a finite number of actual end desserts. They probably <laughs> already looked at my a lot of them. My immediate thought was, was don't, don't they index all the world's information? Don't they have it? Like, <laughs> they have a right, search engine. They can just do a search. Okay, Google, give me end name desserts. So, uh, Michael, what do you think? Uh, have you submitted for uh, the letter N? And if so, what was it? I absolutely have not. Every single ca candy name that starts with N or dessert name starts with N is something I end up not liking. Nougat? Yeah. Yeah. Nut or butter. Or, I mean, nougat I can handle in a Three Musketeers or whatever. But, I mean, what else is there? There's yeah. You don't like nut or butters? What's wrong with you? No. <laughs> nut or butters nut are butter weird. That's a weird name. I, nut I or butters are weird. I know a lot of people like it. I'm weird. But. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you, Michael. I don't like them either. They're weird. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I entered Nutella. Oh, Nutella. No, obvious, that, yes. yeah, obvious, obvious choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's a brand. But I just like the idea of Google trying to negotiate with that Italian company that owns Nutella. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. I'd be down Ferrer because I like Rocher. Nutella and I'd love to yeah. eat that on this show because we have a uh, history of eating whatever we the do. dessert we is to, once yeah. the name is finally announced. So yep. there we go.